Hi Tigers, welcome to your next distance learning activity for art. This is called A Room with a View and it is a landscape drawing project um, inspired by one of my favorite movies, A Room with a View, which is about an English um, woman who takes a trip to Italy and at her stop in Florence, she gets a hotel room where um, she is able to find a room with a beautiful view of the Florence skyline. And here you see a, a film still from that movie where Lucy Honeychurch is looking out her room with a view. So for your challenge, what you're going to do is you're gonna walk through your house and look through various windows and the windows are going to frame a view. And as you move around um, in front of the window, your view will change. So you're gonna to have to find a point of view that interests you. And you're going to make a drawing of what you see outside the window. And it's going to record a moment of your time this spring doing your distance learning from home. So what you need is a piece of paper for drawing and any drawing utensils you might want to use. Those could be just regular graphite pencil, colored pencils, markers. If you have paints, you could do this as a painting project. So the painting that you see here is the one that I showed you on the previous slide. This is a reproduction of a painting by Pablo Picasso of a view from a um, house that he lived in in, in Cannes. And um, he has included some specific details that make it a unique view from a certain moment in time, including the pigeons that are sitting on the railing of the balcony. And one of the reasons that I have this particular painting hanging in my home is because I visited this city and I was visiting a museum there where when I looked out the window, I saw a view that looked just like this. So whenever I look at this picture hanging in my house, it brings me back to a certain moment in time. That's a very good memory for me. So point of view, as you're walking through your house, depending on whether you're looking straight out the window or you're looking at a more oblique view, you're gonna get a different um, viewpoint. So here I'm showing you the view out of the same window in my dining room. In the picture on the left, it's not a very interesting view. The, um, the blinds are blocking a lot of the um, scenery in the first one. And also I'm looking straight at my neighbor's townhouse. Now, if I change the point of view just a bit here, I can see a wider view out into my cul-de-sac and I can see that tree. And in that second picture, I also have my dog in there, which makes it a little more interesting. Here you see the view out of my dining, I mean my kitchen window. And on the left, you see it's just a plain looking window. But on the right, I've done something um, as the artist here to change the composition. So I added some things in, that's artistic license. And you can do that and maybe should do that when you're creating your view. So I opened the window, I set my cat on the windowsill and I put a baseball glove with a pair of swim goggles sort of draped across it. So what I'm showing you there is by opening the window, it's this idea that I would like to be moving from the inside to the outside. And by including that baseball glove, I am thinking about how I would love to be playing baseball with my son outside. So those are little details that help create a story and make the picture more interesting. So if you're a kindergartner all the way up through sixth grade, we have talked about ground lines in art class. So I think you're all familiar with those. So I'm hoping that you will add some ground lines to your landscape drawing. Um, other things that we um, focus on are overlap and size differences. So things that are closer are bigger and things that are farther away get smaller. So I'm hoping that you're going to create an illusion of depth in your landscape drawing and you're gonna have a foreground, a middle ground and a background. When you're finished with your drawing, I'd like you to take a minute to reflect. So a lot of times artwork um, in an artist's sketchbook captures a moment in time that was important to the artist. 
So think about the moment in time that you were capturing when you made a picture of the view outside of the window of your house, why you were working indoors instead of outdoors, why you were at home instead of having art class at school. All of that goes into making meaning in your artwork. I thought you might be interested to see some pages from a sketchbook that I um, made in April, but April 2010. So that's what I'm showing you here. On the left, I was celebrating springtime, blossoming trees, um, sunshine. And then on the right, I was remembering a visit to the National Cathedral with my family. And so as an artist, I am remembering a moment through um, drawing, collage, also writing about it, and having collected some artifacts from my visit. So your sketchbook can also include all those different types of multimedia. And if you're interested, post your artwork on Twitter at Terra Center Art, or you can email a picture to me at klbowersfeld at fcps.edu. Have fun creating. Thank <laughs> you.